Now we can add our website contents in our third step. In this window you will find the page grid, several objects and the preview window. The grid is part of the page you're working in. You can drag and drop one object in each cell. Select, for example, the text object and drag it into the first cell. Then, select the image object and drag it into the next. We have now created a classic page style which consists of text and object side by side. The grid is very easy to change. You can instantly add more rows and columns as desired and change the size of your object by moving it around the cells or by dragging the anchors. Now double click on the text object within the grid to open the text editor. Here you can add and format the text you need. Obviously you can enter text or paste it in from another file. You might have to add a link to your text. Therefore, after selecting the words that will activate the link, click on the Insert Link icon in the toolbar. A new window will open. Here, you can choose what you want to link. For example, a website page, a file within your website, or an external website. We choose to add a file with show box. Select your image, then add the captation. After choosing the link item, you can also add a description. Here, you can set up either text or image tip. This is a small hint that shows when the mouse is placed over an item. Once you have set up your tip, you can test your page by opening your preview. If you go onto the linked words, the tooltip will appear. Click on it and you will open the image we have added. Now that you have the text, you can add an image. Double click on the image object icon to add the item we need. We can use high resolution photos made with our digital cameras. The size of the photo is not an issue, as Website X5 automatically optimizes and resizes images for you to avoid loss of time. Click on the edit button to open an internal image editor packed with all the options you will need to modify your photos. We can cut and rotate images, add filters, a watermark to protect your copyrights, a mask to smarten your image, frames and various effects. Once you have the desired results, click OK to save your changes, then preview to see the result. Now our page is starting to take shape. It is important to take note that anything you change in your layout or in your website's structure will not affect the contents. Website X5 will simply recreate the pages in relation to the new style. Let's go into a new page now and create a gallery. All you have to do is select the gallery object and drag it into the grid as we did previously. Double click on the object to open it. You can choose between various gallery types. Let's start with the horizontal. In the list section, we create a selection of images we need. Note that you can also add videos from YouTube or captured by you. Once you have chosen your images, select them. Then click on the effect button to customize your gallery with great effects. can also choose a thumbnail style. Website X5 will create it automatically in our gallery that we can now open by selecting once again the preview option. Now 
let's go back into the style section and select the thumbnails per frame option. Then test our page. Now you can scroll through the images. Click on them to open a bigger image and scroll through them without having to go back to the thumbnails. Website X5 has a range of objects available for you to choose from, including the HTML code and widgets, for those of you who are familiar with programming, the email form, which allows your users to contact you, and the product list, that is essential in order to create an online store. So as you can see, we can now create all our website pages by adjusting step by step our page grid according to our needs and by adding the useful objects. Then, once you have entered all the content, you can add the finishing touches in step 4.